What's up guys, Dave here, JDH Reptiles. So, today I've done a little bit of, a little more room organization. I want to take you guys along, show you a little bit of what I did. And um, also want to take today and just, let's show off some animals. So um, I'm going to get the camera on the tripod and get that prepped. Until then, let's go right to the intro. Alright guys, so first things first, um, right there, I put on the extra level for the 5540, uh, still got to get these two moved out and then I have two levels that will go on here. So this is a split rack with a 7030 for three levels and then we'll have five levels of the 5040. So that's all females. That is all females. Those down there are females. And one and all four of those are females. The rest from these three and everything down are all males. So, so that's how this is set up right now. Uh, you look behind me, you'll see the corner is empty. That little TGR rack right there, that white one, uh, that's going to be the next rack we're going to put on a raffle uh, this week. So if you want involved in that, shoot me a message and I will get you involved in that drawing for that. Then we're going to clear this corner out completely and we're going to order up, most likely we're going to order up the 1065 or 1069, I think it's 1065 from ARS. Got to do some measuring though. I'm it's going to be a tight fit. I'll probably have to kitty corner it. And like I said, it's going to be a tight fit. Uh, the other idea was to buy two of the 10, I think it's 1039s. So I think they're two, three wide and 10 tall or something like that, or 13 tall. And I was thinking we'd do like one here and one there some way, or one over here. And then I could either put one in the back corner, slide this over, or move that out and put it right there. So haven't decided exactly how it's going to work uh, but we're definitely gonna get that taken care of too so I just haven't decided how we're gonna do that as of yet but yeah that's pretty much what I did today uh, I was really hoping to get the two over here but until these guys are gone I really I don't have a way to do that yet um, <clears throat> the other option was setting them up over here in this corner but as you see, I brought over the additional TGR rack that I'm still using. Set that over here. So I don't really have any room at the moment to put them anywhere. Um, I could move them out of this room, but this setup is gonna get really cold. So I'm really just waiting until the other uh, PVC enclosure comes for this girl here. And then the two of them are gonna go outside the room. Uh, they'll be on their own thermostat, obviously and yeah we'll have that all taken care of we'll get the two levels here and then i guess we're just gonna hold off and wait until the breeding season starts because i have two animals coming this week and that's it i think we're done we're at least done for the year probably pretty much all next year as well at least that's the plan we're going with as of right now i don't foresee us buying anything anytime soon so uh we'll see but um i want to show you some animals we haven't just done a cool little animal video in quite a while so let's go ahead and get to that why don't we all right let's see here let's start with some scaleless why don't we look at this boy this is a lesser gold blush scaleless it's funny how this camera does not pick up the yellows in this animal I, I don't know why 
I don't know what I can do to change that. There we go, take it out of the light a little bit. But there's yellows and grays and highlights. I mean, this boy is so nice. So that's one scaleless. And we got this female here. So this one is a Mojave. Possible uh, gold blush. Or I say probable. But I'm not 100% sure. I'd like it to get a little bit more size. And then I can probably tell. But as of right now I'm going to say probable. But yeah. Not really sure. No we're not keeping any of these by the way. So there are those two. Uh, let's see here. Male paint. This boy is going in the shed. It's all used as a paint. Nothing else. Why the camera's not. Get there we go. Look at that. He is going in the shed though. So really dark and dusky. Here's the new one. Look at this boy. This is an acid highway. So acid yellow belly gravel. Just an amazing looking animal. Big chunky boy too. And we're here. This girl is a pewter sunset. So this would be cinnamon pastel sunset. Really cool. So glad we got her. She is definitely a little feisty. But we like them feisty. They're good eaters when they're feisty. Oh, look at that. She's ready to go. Yellow belly. Paint. Such a good looking girl there. And then from this season we had a couple possible sunsets our male 100% hat sunset to a female 66% hat sunset we didn't produce any sunsets five eggs no sunsets one of them was no good so it was actually a four eggs so yeah we got four possets This one here is really nice. This is a Coral Glow Black Pastel Yellow Belly. This one unfortunately did come out with a kink. Try and get over here where you can look at the electric in that orange. That is really cool. This one did come out with a little kink on its tail. right there so this one going to be a pet only but we did get his brother which is right where is he at where is he at right here There we go. No kinks on this boy. And this is a black pastel coral glow. I don't think there's any yellow belly. He's not as electric as his brother. But we'll find out. Hopefully he'll be breeding this year down the road. Man. He is definitely beautiful. And a good eater too. Alright, let's see. Here's our sire to the Gold Blush Scalises. This is a Mojave Gold Blush Scalis head. And you can see all this gold here. And the other trait with the Gold Blush is the gold on the, the mouth. And he's not going to let me show you. 
right around the nose. <laughs> they have a little gold around the nose, but nope. There you go. Perfect ball python. Big scary boy. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I'll get enough. This guy won't get enough time. This is a Mario Desert Ghost. Possible Super Mario. Big boy. He's got a couple girls lined up to breed this year. We'll get to see whether or not he's a super or not. Big thanks to JKR for selling us that boy. And there's one that we produced last season. This is a pastel genetic stripe VPI Exanthic. He is so cool. So he he's gonna go to a couple girls to make some double hats. And actually, I'll give you guys a secret, he's going to this girl to make some triple hats. So we're gonna be shooting for I believe this girl is a pastel Enchi albino. So if that's the case, hopefully super pastel Enchi 100% triple hat for VPI Exanthic, albino, and G-stripe. So that would be trying to produce genetic stripe snows. I think that'd be really cool. Be a cool project. Uh, we're going to talk projects in another video down the road, so we won't get into too many, but show you this boy here. This guy's always a fan favorite too. This is a GHI Mojave scaleless head. So he's going to go to a couple girls this year. I think I'm going to pair him up with our special, so we can hopefully make some scaleless head um crystals i think that'd be really cool or the scales had ghi crystal i don't even know what that looked like that'd be kind of cool uh, another one i'm going to show you tonight this boy here a lot of people hate the super butters because of the buggy eyes and boy has he got some buggy eyes but this boy here is actually a coral glow super butter Possible cinnamon and possible yellow belly. However, I don't believe the sire was yellow belly. He was said to be yellow belly, but I have never produced a yellow belly with him. So my guess is this is going to be a coral glow super butter, possible cinnamon. So we will find out this year. I've got some plans for him in order to see what we can produce. And uh, hopefully that will tell us everything we need to know just a cool boy. All right guys well that's it for today I uh, appreciate you guys spending some time with me make sure to like share and subscribe uh, leave a comment down below hit the notification bell but leave a comment love to hear what you guys think about what's going on here uh, I'd like to get your input you know should I go with the 1039 and get two of those it costs about thousand dollars more do it that way um, or should I just get the 1065 and try and cram it in here uh, like I said, if it fits, it's going to be really close, and it's going to stick out quite a bit. But, you know, like I said, it saves about a grand besides doing two of the 1039s. But, uh, yeah, guys, appreciate it again. Uh, make sure to leave some suggestions down below. Check out some of our other videos. That will help us to get our minutes up. Other than that, you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll talk to you later.